There's a way to wake up every day with a heart full of love and acceptance for yourself. Today, I want to share a powerful meditation practice that can transform how you see yourself. This isn't just about feeling good in the moment. It's about making a lasting change in your life. First, find a quiet place where you can be alone with your thoughts. Make sure it's comfortable where you won't be disturbed. Sit or lie down in a position that feels good for you. Take a moment to settle in and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose, hold it for a few seconds, and then slowly exhale through your mouth. Feel the tension in your body begin to melt away with each breath. Now, bring your attention to your breath. Notice the sensation of the air as it enters and leaves your body. Allow your breath to become a focal point, bringing your mind into the present moment. If your mind starts to wander, gently guide it back to your breath without judgment. Next, let's do a body scan. Start from the top of your head and move slowly down to your toes. Notice any areas of tension or discomfort and send your breath to those areas, imagining them softening and releasing. As you continue to scan your body, Allow yourself to become more and more relaxed. Now, let's focus on positive affirmations. Repeat silently to yourself. I am worthy of love and happiness. I deserve to be kind to myself. I accept myself exactly as I am. Feel the truth of these words resonate within you. If any negative thoughts or doubts arise, acknowledge them and then let them go returning your focus to your affirmations. Visualization can be a powerful tool in this meditation. Think of a place where you feel completely at peace and safe. It could be a real place you've been to or an imagined one. Visualize every detail of this place, the colors, the sounds, the smells. Allow yourself to fully immerse in this peaceful environment, feeling the calm and love it brings. Now, Let's incorporate gratitude into our meditation. Think of three things you are grateful for about yourself. They can be small or big, physical or emotional. Reflect on these things and feel the gratitude fill your heart. This practice helps shift your focus from self-criticism to appreciation. Mindfulness is key in this practice. Be present with your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Notice how you feel in this moment physically, emotionally, mentally. Accept these feelings as they are, without trying to change them. This acceptance is a form of self-love. Sometimes, negative self-talk can be a barrier to self-love. When these thoughts arise, challenge them. Replace them with positive, affirming thoughts. For example, if you think, I'm not good enough, counter it with, I am enough just as I am. Over time, this practice can help rewire your brain to think more positively. Using mantras can also be helpful. Choose a phrase that resonates with you, such as, I am loved, or I am enough. Repeat this mantra throughout your meditation, allowing it to become a soothing, repetitive thought that grounds you in self-love. After your meditation, take a few moments to journal about your experience. Write down any thoughts or feelings that came up and reflect on what you learned about yourself. This can help solidify the practice and provide insights into your journey of self-love. Consistency is important. Try to make this meditation a daily habit. Even if it's just for a few minutes each day, Regular practice can lead to lasting changes in how you feel about yourself. There will be challenges along the way. It's normal to have days when it's hard to focus or when negative thoughts are more persistent. Be patient and kind to yourself. Remember, self-love is a journey, not a destination. Point one, feeling overwhelmed and disconnected. Feeling overwhelmed and disconnected is a common experience in today's fast-paced world. Many people juggle multiple responsibilities, such as work, family, and social commitments, leading to stress and a sense of disconnection from oneself. 
Understanding and addressing these feelings is the first step towards achieving a balanced and fulfilling life. Understanding overwhelm and disconnection. Overwhelm occurs when the demands placed on us exceed our ability to cope. This can manifest as feeling constantly stressed, anxious, or exhausted. Disconnection, on the other hand, refers to a sense of detachment from oneself and others. It can feel like you're going through the motions without truly engaging with your own life or the people around you. Causes of overwhelm and disconnection. There are several causes of feeling overwhelmed and disconnected. Excessive responsibilities are a significant factor. High job demands, tight deadlines, and long hours can contribute significantly to feelings of overwhelm. Additionally, family obligations, such as caring for children, elderly parents, or other family members, add to the stress. Social commitments, while often enjoyable, can become overwhelming when combined with other responsibilities. Lack of self-care is another major cause. Neglecting personal needs such as sleep, nutrition and exercise can exacerbate feelings of overwhelm. Skipping activities that bring joy and relaxation leads to a sense of disconnection. When we fail to prioritize our well-being, our ability to handle stress diminishes. Technology overload is a modern-day issue contributing to these feelings. Constant connectivity through smartphones and social media can lead to information overload and mental fatigue. The pressure to respond to messages and emails immediately can increase stress levels, making it difficult to disconnect and relax. Unresolved emotional issues also play a significant role. Past traumas or unresolved emotional conflicts can contribute to a persistent feeling of being overwhelmed. Suppressing emotions rather than addressing them can lead to a sense of disconnection from oneself. It is essential to acknowledge and work through these issues to achieve emotional balance. Perfectionism can also lead to overwhelm and disconnection. Setting unrealistically high standards for oneself can result in constant pressure and stress. The fear of making mistakes or failing can prevent people from engaging fully with their lives. Accepting that it's okay to be imperfect is crucial for mental well-being. Signs of overwhelm and disconnection. Recognizing the signs of overwhelm and disconnection is crucial for addressing these feelings. Emotional symptoms include persistent anxiety or worry, feelings of sadness or depression, and irritability or mood swings. Physically, one might experience fatigue and low energy, sleep disturbances, and headaches or muscle tension. Cognitively, difficulty concentrating, memory problems, and feeling mentally foggy are common symptoms. Behaviorally, individuals might withdraw from social activities, procrastinate or avoid tasks, and notice changes in eating or sleeping habits. Identifying these signs can help in taking proactive steps to manage them. Strategies to address overwhelm and disconnection. Number one, prioritize self-care. Ensure you get enough sleep, eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly. Schedule time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation, such as hobbies or spending time in nature. Number two, Set boundaries. Learn to say no to additional responsibilities that exceed your capacity. Set limits on your availability, such as designated times for work and personal time. Number three, manage your time effectively. Use tools like planners or digital calendars to organize your tasks and commitments. Break tasks into smaller manageable steps and tackle them one at a time. Number four, practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness practices such as meditation, deep breathing or yoga to center yourself and reduce stress. Focus on the present moment rather than worrying about the past or future. Number five, seek support. 
talk to friends, family, or a therapist about your feelings of overwhelm and disconnection. Join support groups or online communities where you can share experiences and gain insights from others. Number 6. Limit technology use. Set specific times for checking emails and social media to avoid constant interruptions. Take regular breaks from screens to rest your mind and eyes. Number 7. Address emotional issues. Work through unresolved emotional conflicts with the help of a therapist or counsellor. Practice self-compassion and forgive yourself for past mistakes. Number 8. Adjust your expectations. Accept that it's okay to be imperfect and that making mistakes is part of being human. Set realistic goals and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. One of the most effective ways to combat feelings of overwhelm and disconnection is through self-love meditation. This practice focuses on cultivating a positive and compassionate relationship with yourself. Here's how you can incorporate it into your daily routine. 1. Create a calm environment. Find a quiet space where you can meditate without interruptions. Use soft lighting, calming scents, or soothing music to create a relaxing atmosphere. 2. Start with deep breathing. Begin your meditation with deep breathing exercises to calm your mind and body. Inhale deeply through your nose, hold for a few seconds, and exhale slowly through your mouth. 3. Focus on positive affirmations. Repeat affirmations that promote self-love and acceptance, such as, I am worthy of love, or, I accept myself as I am. Feel the truth of these words resonate within you as you meditate. 4. Visualize a place of peace. Imagine yourself in a place where you feel completely safe and at peace. Visualize every detail of this place and allow yourself to fully immerse in the calm it brings. 5. Practice gratitude. Reflect on the things you are grateful for about yourself. Allow feelings of gratitude to fill your heart and mind. 6. End with mindfulness. Finish your meditation by bringing your awareness back to the present moment. Notice how you feel now compared to when you started and carry this sense of peace and self-love with you throughout your day. Point 2. Importance of self-love in daily life Self-love is a fundamental aspect of overall well-being and mental health. It involves accepting oneself fully, treating oneself with kindness and respect, and nurturing one's own growth and happiness. Understanding and practicing self-love is crucial for leading a balanced and fulfilling life. Here's an in-depth look at the importance of self-love in daily life. Understanding self-love. Self-love is not about narcissism or self-centeredness. It is about recognizing your inherent worth and treating yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would offer to a friend. Self-love involves taking care of your physical, emotional and mental health, setting healthy boundaries and prioritizing your own needs and happiness. Benefits of self-love. 1. Improved Mental Health Self-love reduces stress, anxiety and depression by fostering a positive self-image and reducing negative self-talk. When you accept and love yourself, you are less likely to be consumed by self-criticism and doubt. 2. Enhanced Relationships When you love and respect yourself, you set the standard for how others should treat you Self-love allows you to form healthier, more fulfilling relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. It also enables you to communicate your needs and boundaries more effectively. 3. Increased resilience. Loving yourself equips you with the resilience needed to face life's challenges. It helps you bounce back from setbacks and failures with a positive outlook and a determination to keep moving forward. 4. Greater Life Satisfaction 
Self-love leads to a greater sense of fulfillment and happiness. When you prioritize your well-being and pursue activities that bring you joy and satisfaction, you experience a deeper sense of contentment in life. 5. Personal Growth Self-love encourages personal development and growth. It motivates you to invest in your own learning, pursue your passions, and strive to become the best version of yourself. How to practice self-love 1. Self-care Engage in activities that nourish your body, mind and soul. This includes eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, and taking time to relax and unwind. Self-care also involves engaging in hobbies and activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. 2. Positive self-talk Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Be mindful of the way you speak to yourself and challenge any negative thoughts or beliefs. Practice self-compassion and remind yourself of your strengths and achievements. 3. Set healthy boundaries. Learn to say no to things that do not serve your well-being. Setting boundaries helps protect your energy and ensures that you prioritize your own needs. It also helps prevent burnout and resentment. 4. Forgive yourself. Let go of past mistakes and forgive yourself for any perceived failures. Understand that making mistakes is part of being human and that they do not define your worth. Learn from your experiences and move forward with a positive mindset. 5. Surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you. Build a network of positive and encouraging individuals who respect and value you. Limit your exposure to negativity and toxicity. 6. Pursue your passions. Engage in activities and pursuits that ignite your passion and creativity. Whether it's a hobby, a career goal or a personal project, pursuing your passions can bring immense joy and satisfaction. Point 3. Brief explanation of how meditation can help cultivate self-love. Meditation is a powerful tool that can help cultivate self-love by promoting self-awareness, reducing stress, and encouraging a compassionate and positive mindset. Understanding how meditation works and its benefits can help you incorporate this practice into your daily routine effectively. Here's an in-depth look at how meditation can foster self-love. Understanding Meditation Meditation is a practice that involves focusing the mind on a particular object, thought or activity to achieve a mentally clear and emotionally calm state. It has been practiced for thousands of years across various cultures and spiritual traditions. There are different types of meditation, including mindfulness meditation, loving-kindness meditation, and guided meditation, each offering unique benefits. How Meditation Cultivates Self-Love 1. Promotes Self-Awareness Meditation helps increase self-awareness by encouraging you to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This heightened awareness allows you to recognize negative self-talk and destructive patterns, giving you the opportunity to change them. By becoming more aware of your inner dialogue, you can start to replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations, fostering a more loving and compassionate relationship with yourself. 2. Reduces stress and anxiety. One of the most significant benefits of meditation is its ability to reduce stress and anxiety. When you meditate, your body enters a state of deep relaxation, which can lower cortisol levels, the stress hormone. This reduction in stress creates a more positive mental state, making it easier to cultivate self-love. When you are less stressed, you are more likely to be patient, kind and understanding with yourself. 3. Encourages self-compassion Loving kindness meditation, also known as metta meditation, specifically focuses on developing compassion towards oneself and others. 
During this practice, you repeat phrases such as, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I live with ease. By directing these compassionate wishes towards yourself, you cultivate a sense of self-compassion, which is a crucial aspect of self-love. 4. Improves Emotional Regulation Meditation helps improve emotional regulation by training your mind to respond rather than react to situations. This means that instead of immediately reacting to negative thoughts or emotions, you learn to observe them, understand their origins, and respond in a way that is more constructive and less self-critical. Better emotional regulation leads to a more balanced and loving relationship with yourself. 5. Enhances Mindfulness Mindfulness meditation involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. This practice helps you become more aware of your thoughts, feelings and physical sensations. By staying present, you are less likely to ruminate on past mistakes or worry about the future, which can negatively impact your self-esteem. Mindfulness encourages acceptance and appreciation of yourself as you are in the present moment. 6. Builds Positive Thought Patterns Regular meditation practice can help rewire your brain to think more positively. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, is enhanced through meditation. This means that by consistently practicing meditation, you can develop new, positive thought patterns that replace old, negative ones. Over time, this can lead to a more loving and positive self-image. Point 4. Personal story or anecdote about the journey to self-love. Personal stories and anecdotes can be powerful tools for illustrating the journey to self-love. Sharing real-life experiences not only makes the concept more relatable, but also provides practical insights and encouragement for those who might be struggling. Here's an in-depth look at a personal journey to self-love, highlighting the challenges faced and the strategies used to overcome them. A personal story. Emily's journey to self-love. Emily was a high-achieving professional who excelled in her career. On the surface, everything seemed perfect. She had a well-paying job, a supportive family, and a circle of close friends. However, beneath this facade of success, Emily was struggling with feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. She constantly compared herself to others and felt that she was never good enough. The turning point came when Emily experienced burnout. The relentless pursuit of perfection and the pressure to meet everyone's expectations took a toll on her mental and physical health. She felt overwhelmed, disconnected, and utterly exhausted. This was when she realized that something needed to change. Recognizing the need for self-love Emily's journey to self-love began with the recognition that she needed to prioritize her own well-being. She started by acknowledging her feelings of inadequacy and understanding that they were rooted in unrealistic standards and external validation. Emily made a conscious decision to embark on a journey of self-discovery and healing. Steps taken towards self-love. 1. Seeking professional help. Emily decided to seek the help of a therapist. Therapy provided her with a safe space to explore her feelings and identify the root causes of her self-doubt. Through therapy, Emily learned that her perfectionism stemmed from childhood experiences and societal pressures. 2. Practicing Mindfulness and Meditation Emily incorporated mindfulness and meditation into her daily routine. She started with guided meditations focused on self-love and compassion. These practices helped her become more aware of her thoughts and feelings without judgment. Over time, Emily learned to respond to her negative thoughts with kindness and understanding. 3. Setting Boundaries One of the significant changes Emily made was setting healthy boundaries. 
she learned to say no to additional responsibilities that drained her energy and time. Emily prioritized her own needs and ensured that she had time for rest and relaxation. 4. Engaging in self-care Emily embraced self-care as a non-negotiable part of her life. She started by making small changes, such as taking regular breaks, enjoying nature walks, and indulging in her hobbies. These activities brought her joy and helped her reconnect with herself. 5. Positive Affirmations Emily began using positive affirmations to combat her negative self-talk. Every morning she would look in the mirror and repeat affirmations like I am worthy of love and respect, and I am enough just as I am. These affirmations gradually shifted her mindset and boosted her self-esteem. 6. Journaling Journaling became a therapeutic outlet for Emily. She wrote about her feelings, her progress and her challenges. Journaling helped her process her emotions and reflect on her journey. It also served as a reminder of how far she had come. 7. Connecting with supportive people Emily surrounded herself with people who uplifted and supported her. She distanced herself from toxic relationships that drained her energy and contributed to her self-doubt. Building a supportive network was crucial for her mental and emotional well-being. Challenges faced along the journey Emily's journey to self-love was not without its challenges. There were days when she felt like giving up, overwhelmed by her old habits and negative thoughts. Here are some of the challenges she faced and how she overcame them. 1. Old patterns resurfacing. Despite her progress, Emily often found herself slipping back into old patterns of self-criticism. She addressed this by being patient with herself and reminding herself that setbacks are a natural part of the healing process. 2. Fear of judgment. Emily was initially afraid of being judged for prioritizing herself. She overcame this by reaffirming her self-worth and focusing on the positive impact of her actions on her well-being. She also shared her journey with close friends who offered their support and encouragement. 3. Consistency Maintaining consistency in her self-care practices was challenging, especially during busy periods. Emily tackled this by creating a flexible routine that accommodated her schedule. She also set reminders to practice self-care and meditation. 4. Imposter Syndrome Emily struggled with imposter syndrome, feeling that she didn't deserve success or happiness. She addressed this by celebrating her achievements, no matter how small, and acknowledging her hard work and dedication. The transformation. Over time, Emily noticed a significant transformation in her life. She felt more connected to herself, experienced less stress, and developed a more positive self-image. The feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt were replaced with self-acceptance and confidence. Emily's relationships improved, and she found greater fulfillment in her personal and professional life. The ongoing journey. Emily's journey to self-love is ongoing. She continues to practice mindfulness, set boundaries, and prioritize self-care. Emily understands that self-love is not a destination, but a continuous process of growth and self-discovery. She remains committed to nurturing her relationship with herself and embracing her imperfections. Emily's story is a testament to the transformative power of self-love. Her journey highlights the importance of recognizing the need for self-love, seeking help, and adopting practices that foster self-acceptance and compassion. By sharing her experience, Emily hopes to inspire others to embark on their own journeys to self-love. Remember, the path to self-love may be challenging, but it is one of the most rewarding journeys you can undertake. You are worthy of love and happiness, just as you are. 
Point five, guided relaxation, deep breathing exercises. Deep breathing exercises are a fundamental component of guided relaxation and play a crucial role in promoting physical and mental well-being. By focusing on breath control, individuals can activate the body's relaxation response, reduce stress and enhance their overall sense of calm. Here's an in-depth look at how deep breathing exercises can aid in guided relaxation, covering various aspects and techniques. Understanding Deep Breathing Exercises Deep breathing, also known as diaphragmatic or abdominal breathing, involves taking slow, deep breaths that fully expand the lungs and engage the diaphragm. This type of breathing encourages full oxygen exchange, which can slow the heartbeat and stabilize blood pressure, contributing to a state of relaxation. Benefits of Deep Breathing Exercises 1. Reduces stress and anxiety. Deep breathing activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which counteracts the stress response induced by the sympathetic nervous system. This helps reduce the levels of stress hormones like cortisol, promoting a sense of calm and relaxation. 2. Enhances focus and concentration. By focusing on the breath, Individuals can quiet the mind and reduce distractions. This enhances concentration and mental clarity, making it easier to stay present and engaged in the moment. 3. Improves emotional regulation. Deep breathing can help manage emotions by creating a pause between stimulus and response. This allows for more thoughtful and measured reactions to situations rather than impulsive or emotional responses. 4. Promotes physical health. Regular practice of deep breathing can improve lung function, enhance cardiovascular health and boost the immune system. It also helps alleviate symptoms of conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and high blood pressure. 5. Supports mental health. Deep breathing is beneficial for mental health, helping to reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. Point 6. Incorporating gratitude into meditation, acknowledging things you love about yourself. Incorporating gratitude into meditation is a powerful practice that can significantly enhance your overall well-being and foster self-love. By focusing on what you appreciate about yourself, you can cultivate a positive mindset, reduce stress and build a stronger sense of self-worth. Here's an in-depth look at how to incorporate gratitude into meditation and the various aspects involved. Understanding Gratitude in Meditation Gratitude in meditation involves deliberately focusing on and appreciating the positive aspects of your life and yourself. This practice shifts your attention from what you lack to what you have, fostering a sense of contentment and well-being. When directed towards oneself, gratitude helps in recognizing and valuing your qualities, achievements and experiences, which is essential for building self-love. Benefits of Gratitude Meditation 1. Enhances Emotional Well-Being Practicing gratitude increases feelings of happiness and reduces negative emotions such as envy, resentment and regret. It helps you focus on the positive aspects of your life, leading to greater overall emotional well-being. 2 boosts self-esteem. Acknowledging your strengths and accomplishments through gratitude, meditation enhances your self-esteem and self-worth. It encourages a positive self-image and helps you appreciate your unique qualities. 3. Reduces stress and anxiety. Focusing on gratitude activates the relaxation response, reducing stress and anxiety levels, it shifts your focus away from worries and towards the positive aspects of your life, promoting a sense of calm and peace. 4. Improves physical health. Gratitude has been linked to better sleep, lower blood pressure, 
and improved immune function. Regularly practicing gratitude meditation can have a positive impact on your physical health. 5. Enhances relationships. By recognizing and appreciating your positive qualities, you become more empathetic and understanding towards others. This can improve your relationships and foster a sense of connection and belonging. Point 7. Mindfulness practice. Being present and kind to oneself. Mindfulness is a practice that involves being fully present in the moment, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment, and cultivating a sense of kindness and compassion towards yourself. It is a powerful tool for enhancing mental and emotional well-being, reducing stress and fostering self-love. Here's an in-depth look at how mindfulness practice can help you be present and kind to yourself, covering various aspects and techniques. Understanding Mindfulness Mindfulness is the practice of bringing your attention to the present moment. It involves observing your thoughts, feelings and physical sensations without trying to change them or judge them. By being fully present, you can gain greater awareness and understanding of your experiences, which can lead to a more balanced and peaceful state of mind. Benefits of Mindfulness Practice 1. Reduces stress and anxiety. Mindfulness helps activate the relaxation response, reducing the levels of stress hormones like cortisol. It allows you to respond to stressors with greater calm and clarity, reducing overall anxiety. 2. Enhances emotional regulation. By observing your emotions without judgment, mindfulness helps you understand and manage them more effectively. This leads to better emotional regulation and a more stable mood. 3. Improves focus and concentration. Mindfulness trains your mind to focus on one thing at a time, improving your concentration and cognitive function. This can enhance productivity and efficiency in daily tasks. 4. Promotes self-awareness. Being mindful helps you become more aware of your thoughts and behaviours, this self-awareness is crucial for personal growth and self-improvement as it allows you to recognize and change negative patterns. 5. Cultivates compassion and kindness. Mindfulness encourages a non-judgmental and compassionate attitude towards yourself and others. This fosters self-love and helps build healthier, more empathetic relationships. Tips for effective mindfulness practice. 1. Start small. Begin with short sessions of 5 to 10 minutes and gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable with the practice. Consistency is more important than duration. 2. Create a routine. Integrate mindfulness into your daily routine by setting aside specific times for practice, such as in the morning or before bed. Regular practice helps establish mindfulness as a habit. 3. Be patient and non-judgmental. It's natural for your mind to wander during mindfulness practice. Instead of judging yourself, gently bring your focus back to the present moment. Remember that mindfulness is a practice and it's okay to have fluctuations. 4. Use guided meditations. If you're new to mindfulness, guided meditations can provide structure and support. There are many apps and online resources available that offer guided sessions for various types of mindfulness practices. 5. Incorporate mindfulness into daily activities. Practice mindfulness during routine activities like brushing your teeth, washing dishes, or commuting. Focus on the sensations and experiences of the moment, turning these activities into opportunities for mindfulness. Overcoming challenges in mindfulness practice. 1. Difficulty concentrating. Beginners often struggle with maintaining focus. If you find it difficult to concentrate, start with shorter sessions and gradually increase the time. 
Using guided meditations can also help maintain focus. 2. Impatience It's common to feel impatient or frustrated, especially when starting out. Remind yourself that mindfulness is a journey and progress takes time. Celebrate small achievements and be kind to yourself. 3. Negative thoughts Encountering negative thoughts is normal. Instead of trying to suppress them, acknowledge their presence without judgment and gently redirect your focus to the present moment. Over time, this practice can reduce the intensity and frequency of negative thoughts. 4. Physical discomfort If you experience physical discomfort while sitting or lying down, try adjusting your position or incorporating gentle stretches before and after your practice. Ensure you are comfortable to avoid unnecessary distractions. Integrating kindness into mindfulness. 1. Self-compassion Cultivate self-compassion by treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend. When you make a mistake or face a setback, practice self-forgiveness and remind yourself that it's okay to be imperfect. 2. Positive self-talk Pay attention to your inner dialogue and replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. Practice phrases like I am enough, I am worthy of love, and I accept myself as I am. 3. Gratitude Practice Integrate gratitude into your mindfulness practice by reflecting on what you appreciate about yourself and your life. Acknowledge your strengths, achievements, and positive qualities regularly. 4. Acts of Kindness Extend kindness to others through small acts of generosity and compassion. This not only benefits those around you, but also reinforces a positive and kind mindset within yourself. Point 8. Overcoming negative self-talk, replacing it with positive thoughts. Negative self-talk is a pervasive issue that affects many people, often leading to diminished self-esteem, increased stress, and a host of other mental health challenges. Learning to overcome negative self-talk and replacing it with positive thoughts is essential for fostering a healthy self-image and improving overall well-being. Here's an in-depth look at how to address and transform negative self-talk covering various aspects and strategies. Understanding negative self-talk. Negative self-talk refers to the critical and harmful inner dialogue that can occur in our minds. It often manifests as self-criticism, doubt and pessimism. This type of thinking can be automatic and habitual, frequently going unnoticed, but significantly impacting one's mental health and self-esteem. Types of negative self-talk 1. Personalizing Blaming yourself for things that go wrong even when you are not responsible. Example It's my fault that the project failed. 2. Catastrophizing Expecting the worst-case scenario to happen. Example If I make a mistake, everyone will think I'm incompetent. 3. Filtering Focusing solely on the negative aspects of a situation while ignoring the positives. Example, I did well on the presentation, but I stumbled over a word, so it was terrible. 4. Polarizing. Seeing things in black and white terms without recognizing any middle ground. Example, I either succeed perfectly or I'm a complete failure. Point 9. Using mantras. Examples of self-love Mantras Mantras are powerful tools in meditation and mindfulness practices, serving as focal points that help quiet the mind and promote positive thinking. In the context of self-love, mantras can reinforce positive self-perceptions, foster self-compassion, and counteract negative self-talk. Here's an in-depth look at how to use mantras effectively for self-love, including examples and techniques for incorporating them into your daily routine. Understanding Mantras 
A mantra is a word, phrase or sound repeated during meditation or mindfulness practice. The repetition of mantras helps anchor the mind, making it easier to maintain focus and achieve a state of calm and clarity. In many spiritual traditions, mantras are believed to carry specific vibrational frequencies that can influence the practitioner's mental and emotional state. Benefits of using mantras for self-love 1. Enhances focus and concentration Repeating a mantra helps direct your attention away from distractions and negative thoughts, allowing you to stay present and focused during meditation. 2. Promotes positive thinking Self-love mantras are designed to reinforce positive beliefs about oneself. Repetition of these positive affirmations can help rewire the brain to adopt more constructive and compassionate thought patterns. 3. Reduces stress and anxiety. Mantras can induce a state of relaxation by calming the mind and body. This helps reduce stress and anxiety, promoting a sense of peace and well-being. 4. Increases self-compassion. Using self-love mantras encourages a kinder and more understanding relationship with oneself. This practice fosters self-compassion, which is essential for mental and emotional health. 5. Boosts self-esteem and confidence. Regular use of positive mantras can enhance self-esteem and confidence by affirming your inherent worth and capabilities. Point 10. Journaling after meditation, reflecting on the experience and emotions. Journaling after meditation is a powerful practice that helps deepen your self-awareness, process emotions and integrate insights gained during meditation. This reflective practice can enhance the benefits of meditation, provide clarity and promote personal growth. Here's an in-depth look at the importance of journaling after meditation, including techniques and benefits. Understanding journaling after meditation. Journaling after meditation involves writing down your thoughts, feelings and experiences that arise during or immediately following your meditation session. This practice allows you to capture the insights and emotions experienced during meditation helping to consolidate your understanding and extend the benefits of your practice into daily life. Benefits of Journaling After Meditation 1. Enhances Self-Awareness Journaling helps you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions. By reflecting on your meditation experience, you gain a deeper understanding of your inner world and the patterns that influence your behavior. 2. Processes Emotions Writing about your meditation experience allows you to process and make sense of your emotions. This can be particularly helpful for dealing with complex or intense feelings that arise during meditation. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below with your thoughts and experiences. Don't forget to subscribe to Words of Buddha for more content on meditation, mindfulness and self-love. Your support helps us grow and reach more people on their journey to inner peace.